Hello, my friends. All right, let's go ahead and do our green paper. Our green paper needs our pencil so we can write our name at the top. And then, of course, we need our green crayon because we're coloring with green. Now, of course, you could use a green marker and green watercolor. I don't suggest doing paint on this, the tempera paint. Definitely do not use the tempera paint that I have given you because there is not enough and we will be using that for art. If you have your own green paint, then by all means, if you're allowed to do it with your parents and you go right ahead, just do not put a hole in this paper because you are turning it in and paint tends to put holes in it if you rub it too much. All right, let's go ahead and write our name at the top. And then we are going to color the gr name green, green. This is how you write green's name. G R E E All right, this says, I see the green. What's this? Do you know what this is? Grass. Is grass green? Yep, grass is green. So go ahead and color your grass. Green, green, green grass. All right. I see the green turtle are turtles green yep color your turtle make sure you're staying in the line to color do a good job of coloring all right i see the green frog are frogs green yep frogs can be green there's actually lots of different colors of frogs but they can be green great job all right last one i see the green pear, which is a fruit. And yes, pears are usually when you eat them, they are yellow, at least over here in America. But pears can start out green. And there are actually green pears that people do eat. I happen to like the yellow ones. All right, my friends, there we go. This is our reading. I see the green grass, turtle, frog, and pear. It's a book. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'll see you later. Put this in your communication folder. You're turning it in. Bye.